Usually during these last two years, they call it lame duck, but this lame duck is for every president, but not this one. This one is not the same. Because the enemies want to destroy. Hmm. ISIS want to destroy. Iran want to destroy. Russia already have planes in the sky, in Alaska, and whatever, whatever, whatever. So right now we're at a place that is most vulnerable to an attack. Now, folks, so you just want everything in dream and everything in vision. Did you hear what I said? Right now, it's the most vulnerable time of the leader of the most powerful country in the world do not have the tools to get things done. Already, Iran has said that this is the weakest president in American history. I didn't say that. I don't, I don't believe that. But that's what they say, and they are the enemies. And it, just in case I sound political and don't sound biblical, it's all in scripture, the Bible talk of Iran. Iran is Babylon. Come on. And Iraq. So whenever you see Babylon or that part of the world prophetically begin to make statements on the power of the most powerful man, you know it's prophetic. So you got to be aware. You got to be praying. I'm telling you, these next two years are dangerous. These next two years, you can have worse than 9-11. These next two years, you can have nuclear attack. These next two years, you can have what they call the EMP, the electromagnetic pulse that they use something in the technology to destroy all the technology on the earth. A lot of bad things in this neck do not be too comfortable. 